What's up everybody, it's The Offspring, and this is Farming Simulator 2017 Mods slash starting our new trucking company. And we are on a new map, which is, uh, I guess, uh, going to be implemented in this video as well. And this map is the American map, guys. It is really, really cool. Check it out. This is the whole, uh, I guess, overview of it. It's kind of a small town American map, but overall, it's really cool, unique, and it's got a cool emphasis on trucking. I really like that because, as you guys know, I love hauling. And uh, it's just got all these, like, little, uh, I guess, you know, areas to park your semi-trucks and whatnot and uh, you know work on them or just generally store your loads or other equipment it's really it's a really really cool map and uh, I'm probably gonna uh, talk to Mason and maybe hopefully try to put like a lift in one of these things like actual working car lift I think that would be cool and maybe we could do some like car repair stuff or something or maybe haul cars to the repair shop but uh, yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you guys want for next video, and uh, appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving me lately, guys. It's freaking awesome. Let's see if we can get 1,000 likes on this video. It'd be awesome, and uh, if we get 1,000 likes on this video, as soon as we hit the goal, I will release the uh, K5 Blazer. I'll release the, um, what you call it, the 3D 250s, and also I got, um, what else was it, uh, the... Uh, which call oh yeah boats 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 <laughs> forget but yeah let's see if we can smash a thousand likes on this video I know you guys can do it and uh, it seems like we're doing a little comeback uh, even though YouTube still hasn't fixed their stuff it seems like they're actually uh, admitting you know like I said earlier they admitted that there's a big problem you know after they said there wasn't and then you know a bunch of big youtubers were like hey dude you know we're, we're experiencing you know hella friggin view drop and, and whatnot and our videos aren't showing up in notification boxes which oh which is not cool because <laughs> i've been getting whoa, a lot of you guys um hitting me up and saying like hey i'll spring uh your videos aren't showing up in my subscription box and i don't know it's kind of frustrating just because you know all these kids and stuff are messaging me like hey it you know release this mod or they'll comment on the videos like release that truck or blah 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 and it'll all be already be released but i don't understand how to use this thing okay <clears throat> it's this uh it comes in a pack there's a, a pack of the step deck trailers as you could see and uh as of now looking on my recording guys um i'm not seeing any issues i i pretty much came to the conclusion like i said last video the only thing that i could think of that was causing that uh lag and, and jumping and whatnot and just like cutting out in the video was uh the snow map you know what i mean like i i, I don't know i just i could not figure out anything else but yeah indiana trailer it's got the uh, cool ao baked on it and looks really really nice and it comes with three trailers one plane one uh just sprayer and one sprayer and ar and it also comes with this thing but yeah see uh see how this thing works right here look it goes up cool 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 animations and everything are freaking dope um and then you know with your mouse cursor it has the little gates and stuff cool cool well okay well i i don't know i just may be stupid you know because i have a tendency of being like that but I just don't understand how to load my vehicles up. You know, my first guess would to be, okay, do this right here and uh, put the things down. You know what I mean? And uh, I guess, do I have to just haul things that are that wide? You know what I mean? Like, like does, does my loads for this uh, little AR ramp thing? Because I really like it. You know what I mean? But do, do, does my loads have to be that wide? Because I was just trying to put on this right here let's see if i can find it right here and uh, i just could not get it to load i don't i don't, I don't know let's say let, let's try to put a truck up there for instance and um, you know obviously we're gonna hit the back boom but uh i even tried experimenting with taking the thing off and whatnot but you know i don't see it doing like this because you know the ramps aren't that that long you see like when i fold the ramps down like that you know they're not that long maybe i have to get a placeable ramp or something i don't know um you know let me know down in the comments section below and all these links for these mods are in the comments and uh, this is a custom peterbilt and this thing is really cool and it doesn't have that weird issue where you like you know your npc guy driving and first person like floats to the back of the cab which is really annoying 
it's like between that and like the uh, floating wheel stuff um, that's like my main two just issues when it comes to uh, the new I guess scripts for the Giants um, servers and whatnot and just game I guess game as a whole but we have some really cool stuff in this video and uh, I know you guys are gonna love it so yeah let's go ahead and go park back over at the, uh, the farm or I guess we'll not call it a farm I guess we'll just call this uh, the the truck and transport area home of the offspring trucking hauling hotshot trucking offspring gaming awesomeness whatever and uh, why you see okay never mind I was about to say are those trailers ours because the wheels on those trailers look jacked up <laughs> as you can see over in the corner right there I was like those wheels look jacked I don't understand I'm like they better not be selling me a friggin trailer that has bum wheels no no but I don't I'm, I don't like uh, lettering on on tires I'm not a fan of that not a fan on uh, the, in, in real life as well like whenever I get tires I'm like put them whites inside the wheel well oh yeah I don't like my friggin white showing black side out baby but yeah we got this dude too which uh, I don't know it, it, I love it freaking badass truck you know what I mean it is uh, it's really really cool um, f450 you know, it reminds me of Merc. It's like a Merc, Merc, uh, Winston combo truck. And, uh, Winston did a lot of work into it. Everything works in the interior. Same Ford interior that we had in, like, our F650 and stuff. The, uh, hauler version. And, I don't know, just overall it's a really good truck. But my only thing is, um, you know, King Merc had a different scale than, uh, a lot of modders. And, uh, oh yeah, you can see right here, look, it's got the moving parts, of course. Oop. My ma Dude, my mouse has been weird ever since my hard drive corrupted. But yeah, check it out. <laughs> looks like it's got a friggin' straight six in it. You see that, guys? Doesn't it look like it's got a straight shit, straight six inline Cummins? I don't know. It looks like a Cummins engine in there. Doesn't look like a friggin' power joker. A power joker. Power joker. But yeah, my only gripe, uh, you know, and this isn't really a gripe. This is just personal preference. But, um, you know, King Merc had uh, always, like, a different scale than all of us. It was always tiny, you know what I mean? Um, it, uh, although it wasn't, like, the freaking S10 Hillsboro Chevy 3500 flatbed truck. You guys remember that thing? And those U-Haul trailers. Dear God, those things were, like, itty-bitty, you know what I mean? They were, like, so small compared to the rest of the friggin', uh, the mods that you would use in this game. And I understand, you know, um... Yeah, they may be kind of closer to, you know, stock vehicles, uh, or not, not, not stock vehicles, um, in 2015. Uh, I mean, well, yeah, technically stock vehicles, but like traffic vehicles. That's what I was thinking of, traffic vehicles. But, um, I don't know. It's just, it's just too small for me. I gotta scale it up, and also I gotta lengthen the bed out a little bit. Although, you know, there is six and a half foot dualies Fords, by the way. You know, I've said that before. There, There is F-350 dually short beds. And, uh, you know, that that is definitely a thing. Uh, but, personally, I would never get myself a dually in a short bed. And uh, my truck is my the one that I got now. I've had seven diesel trucks before it, and they were all eight foot boxes. And I never had a six and a half foot box. And I really didn't want a six and a half foot box, but... The deal I got on the truck that I have now, like, four years ago, I just couldn't turn it down, so, you know, and I love it since, you know, so I'm, uh, I may end up, actually, in the future, in the next, like, year, uh, dropping a, uh, 24-valve Cummins in my, uh, F-250. I think that'd be pretty gnarly. But, yeah, I gotta stretch this box out, because, I mean, like, why would you buy a dually? I'm not talking about this one right here, but I'm talking about it in real life. You know, like, why would you buy a dually? with a short box, you know what I mean, like, already, you know, you know, like, a truck is supposed to be, like, a freaking truck, you know what I mean, eight foot box or die, but, now, since, you know, I don't know, I, I would say in the last, like, in the last, like, seven years, a lot of teenagers have been picking up diesels and stuff with their dad's credit cards, and, you know, going out and trying to roll coal, because they think it's cool, and, you know, just trying to look cool with their freaking lifts, but they never hit the mud. You know, just the typical bull crap, and uh, that kind of inflated the truck market. Same thing with the uh, the the middle age uh, white men that are like short and stubby with the beer bellies. 
they inflated the uh, truck market too, and uh, and some women, because nowadays like it's so hard to friggin' find an eight foot box. You know, everybody's wanting to buy a truck to go to friggin' Walmart and get their groceries. <laughs> like, come on, dude. Or like, go friggin' go to Home Depot once a friggin' year to get like a, I don't know, like a dishwasher or something. <laughs> But I don't know. I was just always thinking about that, guys. Seems like the the eight foot boxes are dying, and uh, I mean, normally like a while ago, and I, you know, while 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 ago, you know, they never really made six and a half foot boxes, or they were really hard to find. But or, or another thing too is like, I don't get why. I, I wish I wish Dodge um, would uh, you know push well give you the option. I would get an 8 foot box on the mega cabs dude because I swear dude I, I, I would love a mega cab like I love mega cabs man like if I sold my truck and I didn't get a second gen Cummins I would be getting a mega cab you know what I mean mega cab Cummins 4x4 but I mean yeah I would settle for a 2500 mega cab short box because whatever I have to but I could always you know they also have that that company that makes an 8 foot box for the Mega cabs, but they're super duper expensive. It's just like doing a Duraburb and going straight with Duraburb's company. Like they're retardedly expensive. Like you could do it yourself for like ten times, a million times cheaper, or go to like, you know, a different diesel shop. Which, uh, speaking of which, guys, uh, we got two more projects coming out that Josh is modeling right now. We got a uh, a '90s suburban diesel coming your way, and we also have a uh, excursion uh, six liter coming your way as well. So, and a uh, custom Austrian gaming truck that looks like just like my truck. It's going to be pretty sick. And the Top Kick International, International Wrecker, Flatbed, and like I think two more versions. But it's going to be really freaking awesome. I cannot wait. The Top Kick and the International, I'm freaking stoked for. I've been waiting so long to have this International and Top Kick. <laughs> like, it's been months now. And when Josh told me the model was done, I was like, oh my god, I'm so happy and I can't wait to tell all you guys because I know y'all are going to want a freaking top kick. That's the whole reason I told him and paid him to do the uh, the top kick model because, like, we need a top kick, you know what I mean? Like, all the top kicks, top kicks that have been released to the public have been just, like, poo-poo, you know what I mean? Uh, besides, like, maybe one, you know? Like, uh, the only top kick that I think was, like, decent was uh, the top kick that AIM, uh, American Iron Modding, right when American Iron Modding, like, came out. Like, it's, it's whenever Mudbone left the American Eagle site and made his own site in 2013, and then, like, I don't know, just, it was, like, the first, like, couple weeks, and he released a top kick, and for 2013, that thing was pretty sick. Like, I use that all the time, and if you're a longtime subscriber of mine, you definitely know what I'm talking about. The black one with the stacks, 4x4. Four I think someone might have even converted it in the 2015, believe it or not. But I gotta take a sip of my freaking Heinekenos. Freaking mouth is dry, throat's still a little hurting. Okie dokie. Oh guys, um, I'm thinking about live streaming. Do you guys want me to live stream? Because I know we've been talking about multiplayer videos and whatnot. But uh, I thought about you know next best next best thing live streaming like uh, I'm not I'm, I'm not really much into live streaming I never watched live streamers uh, I never really got into it in anything and personally it sounds like really freaking complex to me like it seems like I'll have like I don't know it, it seems like there's like so much things that could go wrong in a live stream and so many things to worry about and I just don't really that's the only thing that's been off putting towards doing it. And, um, cause like, I just, you know, I don't want to have to worry about a million little things, you know, I just want to be able to, to record and play with you guys and, you know, stream it or, you know, upload it to YouTube. Like, that's really what I want to do. I don't want to have to like, have to play with you guys and sit there and looking at Twitch chat and freaking making sure nobody's doing this and oh god this stream went down oh my god freaking police are at my house somebody swatted me like i don't i'm not i'm not about that life anymore like i just don't want that so i don't know if any of you guys know like a uh easy way i guess you would say to stream because i know like xsplit my recording software that i always use to do youtube it's got like the whole streaming thing and whatnot but i don't know if you're if you're a streamer dude and whatnot just uh let me know and uh May give it a go, and uh, we'll do like I guess like a test, 
and uh, if, if, if everything I guess goes good we'll continue to do it if not I mean we'll just tell it to screw off so yeah this is the Coors the guys Coors Brewing Company 389 this thing is sick I was just in Golden Colorado like two weeks ago guys where the Coors brewery is like where like you see how it says even on the side I just noticed that look at that brewed with pure Rocky Mountain spring water I was literally for a whole week I was living across the street two weeks ago um, from the Coors Brewery factory and I tell you man that sucker's huge it's out in Golden Colorado right in the mountains dude backed up to a freaking train track because that's how much like you know they put out a lot of crap you know what I mean so like you know they they have to have like you know a lot of different shipping options like built into their factory like it's like you know all right this batch is done dude all right pull the train up homie load it up on there and then uh old boy comes around it's like yeah dude pull your semi over uh we got another load right here dude like it was just crazy seeing all the all the beers and stuff like that and it reminded me of the family guy episodes where peter like went into the uh, pawtucket brewery and jumped into the big vat of beer and just like chilled and swimmed in there and just like got freaking muffed up in there it was pretty hilarious and uh let's see oh yeah we have this dude right here which is really cool this peterbilt fifth uh 579 combo right here i like this truck this truck looks like giants made it right what i don't like about it quad steering is pretty cool i mean you know it comes in handy but you know, do we need it not really um but the rims and tires i don't like them at all i hate them i hate these rims and tires i freaking despise them I hate any vehicle in this game. And I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. Hate's a strong word. I hate saying hate. <laughs> I just, I don't know, whatever. I strongly dislike these rims and tires. They just, I don't know, they're just too European. They're just too weird. I don't, I don't, they just look like they belong on some type of European, like, forklift or something. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. What are they doing on a uh, Peterbilt? Like, when, when's the last time you seen uh, your poppy freaking drive down the road in a Peterbilt with these rims and tires, boy? Never. But, yeah, check it out. Um, This combo right here, I've been wanting somebody to do this, okay? Like, have, uh, like, I've been talking to people about doing this stuff, but, like, everybody's like, oh, the scripting on it would be, like, pretty, really hard and stuff. And, you know, also, like, you know, this and that and blah, blah, blah. But, like, these dudes did it and it seemed to be working cool. Because, like, what I want to do is, like, you see how this thing is in the back? Like, you ever, uh, you know them, like, lumber yards and stuff or, uh, or, like, sod companies? Because, like, I want I want to have, like, a, f a freaking dope, um, landscape company to where I have, like, this. Look, I'll show you, i show you, i show you. Let me go back. I don't even, I don't think I spawned it in a might of... Or, uh, I mean, clicked it on the activation menu. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I want to have, like, this type of trailer, right? Like, with uh, this dude on the back. And I want to have, like, a light-duty semi-truck. Like, I don't know. Let's, like, my international. Like, my international, dude. Like, my international. I didn't think about that. Or the top kick or something. I don't know. Some type of light lighter-duty day cab um, semi-truck. And then I want to have, like, pallets of freaking sod on the flatbed deliver it to my freaking uh my people then like take the pallets of sod off the trailer and then get my cedar uh machine or whatever and then like have like refill triggers on the pallets of sod and then friggin refill up my friggin solder machiner and then spray my digger my doodaloo and then uh sod your lawn all by my freaking self that would be cool wouldn't it tell me like what like in that pretty cool idea guys i don't know i just come up with random ideas really freaking fast and stuff i'll just be sitting in bed and i'll be like dude that sounds freaking sick i got a freaking message mason <laughs> like all the time like now that we're revamping the mod team and stuff i'm just like really psyched lately like i don't know i got my uh got like a lot more motivation and stuff back because like after youtube started like screwing me freaking over hardcore like i really like i told you guys and, and i'm pretty sure like any youtuber you watch 
that has been experiencing this problem and it's a majority of them like you've probably seen a lot of people's videos saying like YouTube is screwing me over YouTube is freaking not working YouTube's broken blah 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 you know what I mean like everybody's posting videos with those like titles and stuff well um, the people who are actually really uh, experiencing it like myself and the and the view drop and stuff just because of YouTube being stupid it's just unmotivating uh, us you know what I mean like like when when you do something you really like doing right and uh, somebody like just like decreases the crap out of it just for no apparent reason it makes you not want to do it you know what I mean like or it just makes you not want to do it as much or just not motivated you know what I mean and 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 when I don't have motivation I don't want to make a video because I don't want to make a friggin' video that's forced, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I hate making videos that are forced. Like, like I could upload every freaking day, like, three times a day just for freaking ad money, but I don't want to. Like, I want to, and, and this has been since I made my channel, like, I rather, like, not upload, like, freaking crazy just to get freaking money. I rather, you know, wait, make the video good, and, uh and be motivated and stuff like that and generally like be stoked about what I'm doing because if I'm freaking happy and freaking pumped up and like motivated and just going crazy on whatever I'm doing then that that freaking you know does the same thing to you guys you know what I mean like I just don't want to be like all freaking and then like y'all are going to be like oh look at this dude freaking screw off but that's going to be about it for this video. If you enjoyed it, let's smash the like button, get a thousand likes on this video. Let's see if we get this channel back up and running, guys, and uh, tell YouTube to piss off. But um, if you guys want to play with me tonight, I will be on. I'll be on. Let's see. Uh, well, technically, it's really late as I'm recording this, but this video is going to go about 7 in the morning because I'm changing my upload times. I've been uploading really late, guys, around like 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, but I'm going to start uploading in the morning or uh, afternoons. Um, but yeah, uh, look at that chicken right there. I'm gonna go kick that chicken. Get out of here. <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, I'll be playing, let's say, around noon uh, today to 5 o'clock. And if I'm home again tonight, or, uh, or you know, the, the night of, uh, as you're watching this video, then I'll, I'll be on that as well. Mostly playing GTA, Farm Sim 17. And uh, for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes, maybe an hour, uh, probably going to hop on 15 for the first time since uh, 17 comes out. And I'll let him play with you guys, maybe do a multiplayer video. So, all right, guys, I'll see you guys later. Stop rambling. Later.